Right, today we are carrying 12 passengers from Portsmouth down to Snowfield in Ipswich, Massachusetts. It's, uh, it's a little cloudy, but they're high enough. It's not going to really cause us any problems. Uh, it is a little windy, but uh, not too bad. Looks like runway 16 is going to be our departure. So let's get the plane started here. And then we will get on our way. It's just a fraction of a second too late getting that beacon online, as usual. Whatever, we're only going 25 miles today really miss that extra little bit of experience. Right, let's get our GPS set up. I feel like these switches used to turn a little bit easier in an earlier version. I'm not sure why they're fighting me so much today. That is absolutely not where we're going today. That's where we are right now. That's not going to help me too much. Let's plug in the correct field instead. We're going to MA36. There we go. We're going to activate this. Switch ourselves over to GPS. We're going to set up the autopilot. We're going to cruise at about 3,000 feet today. Set the altimeter. All right. Turn on the pitot heat. We're probably going to have to turn on the de-icing at some point. I did ice up a bit earlier, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. Turn a few lights on. Right, let's get underway. Correction, I did not have my... Am I shutting off? Yes, I am. I did not have the mixture set on my... Uh, sorry, the... Did not have the mixture lever set correctly on my throttle, so when I tried to fix that, shut the plane down. Nobody tell the passengers, please. through this uh, tug operator here. Since we have just committed murder, I don't think it's going to be any problem if we disobey a few taxiway markings and possibly speed limits. So, checking the wind right now, it looks like 1-6 is still our runway to take off from. I'm not crosswind, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem on this.
will go all the way around. Also, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at a different screen. taken off. Since we're ignoring ATC anyway, we're just going to barge right in. Going to set our flaps for takeoff. Get lined up. Call that good enough. And off we go. going to engage autopilot at about a 10 degree climb just for a moment. There's pitch and roll. Raise our flaps. I'm going to just go ahead and set our heading for the moment until we at least get past the end of the runway. Uh, we're going to turn on FLC mode. Uh, go ahead and drop our speed a little bit here. Just for good measure, I'll wait till we hit the uh, intersection up ahead before we start turning. All right, we're going to adjust our heading. Start moving to intercept our track with GPS. Now about halfway to our altitude. Right, we have reached our cruising altitude. I'm going to throttle back just a little bit, but uh, not too much. It's a short trip, and I'm a little impatient today. 
We are 19 miles out right now. And I'm going to just switch over to nav mode on the autopilot. We should be close enough to the track that it won't have too much trouble centering on it. Give it a chance to settle in. We look pretty well centered in now. Uh, we're still about seven and a half minutes out, so I'm going to just go ahead and speed up the simulation rate till we hit about 10 miles from our destination. just inside of 10 miles. Get ourselves back. I'm coming into a little bit of fog now. Uh, it's a little chilly up here. We're going to turn on the de-ice just as a preventative measure. So our airfield has an elevation of 61 feet. So we're going to just go ahead and I'm not going to drop down that far. I'll drop down to about uh, Let's call it 600 feet for now. Switch over to vertical speed mode. Give ourselves, uh, we got three and a half minutes left, so we'll just go ahead and set ourselves to 1,000 feet per minute. Keep an eye out for the airfield here. So right now we're on a heading of 196. Uh, the runway that I want to come in on is going to be runway 22. So I'm going to actually switch off a of nav, switch over to heading, and uh, just turn a little bit to the left here, a little bit more to the east, give ourselves a better position. Looks like the sun's trying to come out, but I don't know what's going to happen. We've got Plum Island off here to the left. Let's see uh, Cape Ann up here, Rockport, Gloucester. And uh, of course, uh, let's see here. One of these is the Ipswich River. I believe, uh, I believe this one is the Ipswich River right here. The field we're coming into is uh, right on the river, just off the river, a little farther. And all right, so we have the airport showing up in our giant billboard in the sky here. Uh, I'm just going to check what uh, what the heading actually is. Runway 22 is listed as 220. We're going pretty fast. We're going to start throttling back here. Our, uh, so this is a very short runway. Uh, this is about a 1600 foot runway. It's just a grass strip, uh, not paved or anything like that. So the name of the game here is going to be coming in nice and slow. So what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, start turning us in a little bit here. I'm not sure if I'm quite at 220 degrees, but close enough we can... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm a little short. I'm actually going to just turn off autopilot now and get myself reset here. So really the name of the game here is going to be touching down absolutely as slow as possible. Um, we want to minimize our ground roll. And the best way to do that is to uh, have as little speed as possible uh, to scrub off. So I can just see the runway up ahead. Uh, looks like we're right on track. I'm going to go ahead and set, uh, set my flaps down one notch. And we're going to watch our airspeed here. Uh, when I switch up to full flaps, our stall speed is going to be just, uh, I think it's right at 50 knots. So we're going to target uh, as close to 50 as we can. So here comes full flaps. 
we're just a couple hundred feet above the ground. We're a little bit higher than I want to be right now, actually. I really want to... Uh, this last house here, before we get to the clearing, uh, has a satellite dish on the roof. And I really hate that satellite dish, and I want to knock that thing off with my landing gear as I come over. So there's the dish. Ah, I'm a little far over. We're going to miss that. But because it's such a short runway, we're going to maybe touch down just a hair early. Going a little bit faster than I want it to be, but not bad. Flare down. Hit the brakes. Full reverse thrust. And here we go. We are on the ground. Plane is stopped. Everybody's happy. Start shutting off a few lights here. We're going to turn off the de ice. And we'll pull the mixture back. Cut the engines. Here we go. Twelve more technicians arrived at Snow Airfield in Ipswich.